In a previous video, I showed you how to get your designs from paper into Microsoft OneNote. And this is great for your designs in coursework. But if you've got to digitize a form that you need to submit, say for ethics, then this won't work because you end up with lots of JPEGs and not a PDF. So I'm going to show you quickly how to use OneLens to create a PDF. So here I am in my iPhone. I'm going to open up Office Lens and you'll see in a second it's detecting our piece of paper. So let's just go and choose that. That's our first piece. This could be anything, could be a document you want signing, could be anything. Let's add another piece. I'm going to go for a two page document here. So, out. so it's detected those two pieces quite well. This one needs some adjustments. Let's just bring it around to where it should be. That looks about right. So I'm going to click done. And there we are. So we've got our two pages for document. I'm going to be happy with that. So I'm going to click done. And then I don't go for OneNote, I choose PDF. Now, where do I choose PDF? I choose it to be stored on one drive. It's very important for using that. So once again, it's going up low there. I've not added a new title like I did last time, but you really should. So this is going up into the cloud. I'm going to pop over to a Mac and see where this file is. Here we are on my Mac. And if we go to the top here in my toolbar, you'll see when I drop down the OneNote icon that the file we had just added is there. It's got um, the right title. And you can see it's downloaded to Office Lens. So that's one way you can do it. Let's just open up the folder and locate it manually so you can see where things are. There's a whole load of things in here because I use this for absolutely everything. But if we just go down, we've got a folder here called Office Lens. Go into there and we can see that we have the PDF sitting right there. I can now double tap, I can open it and Adobe Acrobat has it just there. And you see that it has been cropped to the page um, in question. So if you do it landscape, it comes with this. If you do it portrait, it'll come up exactly right. So that is it. That's simply how you digitize your work using Office Lens.